Hi there, it's Nicole for Carrie Bradford Studio, and I have a quick video today showing how I stamped these die cut tags for these paper cardstock gift boxes for Valentine's Day. These are all using Carrie's newest XO stamp set that was released February 1st, and it's a whole bunch of great words and phrases and images, great for love themed projects or Valentine's Day. I used one of my very favorite kits, the Santa's Workshop, or yes, yeah, the Santa's Workshop Workshop kit to create the boxes, and it actually required two sheets of cardstock per box because I made the boxes pretty big. It's probably one of my most used dies. It's great for creating custom gift boxes. These are going to be great for treats. So I cut the bottom of the box from one piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock and the top of the box from another piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Then I die cut the tags using vellum, white cardstock and black cardstock. I'm simply removing some of the stamps now from the stamp sheet and laying them out on my tags to make sure that I like how everything works. I purposely size the tags at an inch and three quarters wide because I, I had measured some of these stamped images I was going to be using and that looked like that would work for the majority of the stamps. So this is going to, um, that was the size that I cut those using my Silhouette die cutting machine. I love how the stamps mix and match on the, um, <clears throat> to create really unique, fun images like the little heart goes with the love me, love me not, and the little dot will work as the center of the flower, which I think is so unique and clever. Trying to decide what all stamps I wanna use here, I'm gonna use the large scripty word love with a smaller phrase underneath. That's one of my favorite ways of uh, using these together is to use a large scripty word with a smaller phrase. And then I'm gonna take the XO and a little heart and another little phrase for my last tag. Now I am gonna mix it, these up a little bit. I ended up not using the forget me not and the love me, love me not on the vellum tag. I'm gonna switch that to the white tag instead. I originally did stamp it on the vellum using embossing powder, but I found that it didn't the white embossing powder didn't go over the red of the flower very well. It was kind of hard to read. So I switched that up and put it on the white tag instead using just regular dye inks. I'm gonna use the powder tool on the black tag to get started with my stamping. This is just gonna help ensure that my embossing powder sticks only to where I stamp with the Versamark ink. I'm gonna stamp a small phrase along the bottom edge of the tag. This, set is, this reads some kind of wonderful. Wanna make sure you just get a good stamped impression. Don't press too hard. They are such little tiny letters that if you press too hard, you could really smush them and the embossing powder will kind of all run together and be really hard to read. Now above that, I'm going to stamp the XO I apologize, my head got in the way. I wanted to make sure I lined that up really well. And I'm gonna stamp that right above that smaller phrase. Again, I'm gonna use the white embossing powder on this word. And then I will stamp the small heart from the XO stamp set next to XO. And in, instead of the white embossing powder, I'm gonna use some red embossing powder for that image. That's gonna give a nice kind of red and white look on that black tag. And then I will simply heat set that and thread through some red twine. For my white tag, here's that vellum tag. And you can see I also, it ran, uh, it was too close to the right side of the image. So I learned a couple things from that. Number one, the embossing powders didn't really work one over top of the other. And number two, you really need to stamp the loves me, loves me not first if you're going to be using it with the flower. Because loves me not is obviously longer than loves me. 
So it's not going to line up perfectly in the center with that dot. So I stamped the flower perfectly in the center on that vellum tag, which made everything run closer to the right edge. So I started with the phrase, stamp that with some Lawn Fawn black licorice ink, right in the center of the tag, and then I'm taking the flower inked up with the Lawn Fawn lobster red ink and stamping that. And even though the flower is slightly offset, the phrase is now even, which I like so much better. For this one, I'm gonna thread through a little black twine. All of the twine I'm using here today is from Pretty Pink Posh. I really like the thickness of this. Um, it's not too thick, it's not too thin. And the colors are so pretty. They come in so many different colors. I'm simply gonna knot these. I'm not gonna leave it terribly long because I want it to sit on top of the gift box when it's tied into the ribbon that I'm gonna put on the top. Just snip those ends off. I can set this one aside and I'm gonna work on my final tag today, which is gonna be on vellum. And I am gonna use embossing again. For this one, I'm going to stamp my phrase first. And I will stamp that along the bottom edge of the tag. Again, I wanna use that powder tool to go over the entire surface of my vellum tag to hopefully keep my embossing powder sticking only to the stamped images. There was a little bit of transferring in the finished uh, tag simply because I used two colors of embossing powder and sometimes they do mix a little bit. I probably could have stamped one image at a time and then embossed it before doing the next one and that might have worked a little bit better. So I'll ink up that phrase and stamp it along the bottom of the tag. And sorry, my head got in the way again because I was trying to get that lined up perfectly. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do it in the middle or along the bottom. I tend to gravitate towards the bottom of the tag for most things, I just kind of like that placement. I'm gonna sprinkle on the white embossing powder. This is another example of using two colors of embossing powder, which I really love. I'm gonna get all that white embossing powder on there. This phrase reads, love you the mostest. And then I will stamp the big scripty word, love, above this. Originally, I kind of thought I might try to uh, mask off the word love in that smaller phrase so it says, love you the mostest with the scripty word. But I kind of like the love, love you the mostest. I thought that was kind of fun too, so I left it as is. I'm gonna flip that over, sprinkle on my red embossing powder, and then heat set that. I threaded through a little white twine through the top of that one. And then just like these two finished gift boxes, I am going to wrap some of this Stampin' Up! Chevron ribbon around my box and tie it into a bow. And I'm gonna tie the tag into the bow to decorate the box. I'm not doing anything else to the box. I simply folded up both the bottom and top pieces and then placed the box together. But you could definitely add additional stamping or embellishing to the box if you wanted to. I kind of left mine plain and I'm keeping these very, very simple but there's a lot of different things you could do to them if you wanted to as well. Around Christmas time, I did some of these gift boxes in a little bit smaller size and I die cut them from transparencies and put them together. So I think clear gift boxes would be fun with these tags and some ribbon as well. And I'm gonna link to that here in case you wanna check out those gift boxes. Maybe you wanna make some transparency gift boxes to put in some of those pretty colorful Valentine's treats. Once I get my bow kind of even and exactly the way I want it, those loops to look, I'm gonna take my scissors, and I do keep a pair of scissors specifically for trimming ribbons so they stay nice and sharp, and I'm going to just trim those ends at an angle. Paper tends to dull scissors, so I always keep a pair of scissors just for ribbon and twine. Here's a look at all of my finished gift boxes, all finished up and ready for gift giving. 
Thanks for watching this video showcasing the Carrie Bradford XO stamp set. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Valentine's gift packaging that you might enjoy. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.